Alrighty, well, I guess we should start by wishing you all a belated Happy New Year. I hope 2024 is good for you. As you can see here in the Southern Hemisphere, we're in uh, midsummer and it's been a hot and dry and very windy one so far. Now, it's been a while since I put up a video, but I'm happy to say that's all about to change. I've been busy here with some personal stuff and also been very busy with ZWO tickets since Seastar came out. It's been pretty unbelievable how popular that little box has been, and for good reason. If you look at the results on the ZWO Facebook page, you guys are churning out some amazing images. So, thanks for that. Now, I've been busy moving my video production platform onto DaVinci Resolve, and that's been a bit of a mission too. It's a bit more in-depth than my last package, but that should mean an improvement in the quality of my videos, although you are still stuck with my face, so sorry about that. I would like to say a huge thanks to all new subscribers over the past year as well. It's been quite an amazing response from you all. And I was humbled by the feedback from so many of you and to meet a lot of new faces at NEEF in April as well. Speaking of NEEF, you'll be pleased to hear that we'll be back again in April for NIAC and NEEF. And I thoroughly enjoyed my New York visit last time. I'm thrilled to be coming back again. Like last time, Bina, TJ and I will be sharing the workload with the ZWO team. And I'm sure that you'll get to see some guest appearances from some familiar faces too. I might even get a trip into Chicago as well during my time over there. Now, my tickets are already booked for this one and I'm very excited to be coming back. It was an absolute blast last year and I loved every minute of what were some very, very long days. There's going to be some other trips coming up over the next months too. Abina is off to the London European Astronomy Show at the beginning of February. Sadly, I couldn't make the show and NEEF work in the short time frame. Uh, apparently, I have to do some real work at some point. Now, look out for some more news on NEEF coming up as we get closer to the date. And Bina and I will be doing some live broadcasts from the show too. So stay tuned for news on that. So it's great to know that the content to create has been of use to so many of you and to help you find your way in this amazing hobby. You can be sure that that will continue as well. And as I can see, you know, often the same topics keep coming up time and time again from the support desk tickets and the questions I see on social media. So that's the focus for the foreseeable future. That's not to say there won't be new things here for more advanced images too though. I'll definitely try to keep a good balance and there's always tips in my videos that even the more experienced images among you can pick up on too. Uh, as you can see from the weather here today, summer is here in the Southern Hemisphere and we've finally seen a shift away from our miserable dreary overcast days of the past years. El Nino has finally kicked in and they're forecasting dry for the rest of the summer. So hopefully I can get out and do more videos outside and from in the observatory, which will be a bit more interesting than the studio. I want to do some live streams too during this coming winter and even offer up the opportunity for some paid focus classes. So do let me know if that would be of interest to you. I have a busy start to the year plan for the channel as well. I have some news on some new cameras coming later this week, which will be no doubt exciting a few people. And some informative content on guide scopes and guiding, which always seems to be a trouble for some newcomers. So if you're looking to build a guided setup, then that one you should look out for. I actually had some fabulous feedback on the style of these tutorials. I appreciate how easy it is just to blast through the settings in a video, but for a beginner, it's important to go through them slowly and explain what the functions do and how to use them, including some nice clear close-ups of the panels. I'll also be taking a more detailed look at the ASI Air system, the models available, and how to set up and get the best out of your imaging. We still get a huge amount of tickets every day on the ASI Air, in particular from beginners. So it's worthwhile taking a deep dive into these questions. I'll also have lots more to come on Seastar for those newcomers amongst you. That's also an important topic as some, this is the very first taste of astronomy and perhaps even with some new technology. So do look out for that if you're a new or prospective owner and we do get a lot of tickets asking the same questions. So I'll try to do a Q&A on some of those too. See if we can help ease you newcomers into operating your new telescope. I'll also have some exciting coverage of new things coming from ZWO too. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on new content. And that will be as soon as we publish, you'll get a notice. I have a couple of new things already testing on the scopes here. So look out for these very shortly. I'm sure you'll be excited as I was when they arrived for testing. Of course, 
There's plenty more content coming in 2024. I've been working on a program of subjects for some shorts too. That's a new subject for me as well. Those small sippets that offer up some helpful hints and tips. So look out for those as well. So stay tuned for lots more from Astroworks and of course wishing you all the clear skies from a beautiful and very sunny New Zealand.